Hello YouTube. Hey guys, it's Sean here with Stealing Second coming to you today on New Year's Eve wanting to uh, just go through uh, my end of year recap. First of all, I want to go and say a major shout out to all the other YouTube channels out there and uh, all the new friends I've made this year. It's been pretty awesome. One thing you guys have heard me talk about in a lot of my videos is my baseball card room, some of my cabinets, um, and some of the display I have set up. So I wanted to take the time to show you my baseball card room, uh, kind of explain what's going on there, and also recap my best pickups or favorite pickups um, of 2019. So uh, before we get into that, I wanted to kind of just reiterate uh, my baseball card rooms kind of broke up into two spaces. So I have my office, which I'm in right now, filming this. Uh, in this is where I, or in my office is where I will break packages. Also, uh, excuse me, we'll go through and uh, open boxes, things like that. And all my sorting is done. Once cards go from here, um, they get sorted, put into the vault behind you. Uh, from the vault, they either go to PSA, get graded, or they make my PC the way they are raw. Um, once they are graded, then they go downstairs on display in my baseball card room. My baseball card room is actually a second living room we have in our house, uh, which has kind of became my little baseball man cave. So uh, without further ado, let's check it out. All right, guys, here we are. Here is my baseball room. I'm uh, going to give you a little quick tour here. In the past, you have heard me talk about my display cabinets. This guy has been on its own video before. This is the juice box. So we'll start there and go around. As you can see, I've made some updates and added lighting to the juice box. We'll go through here. If you guys can see, I will open it up. And this is all your 80s and 90s stars who were popped or alleged for using steroids. So hence the name of the juice box. You guys can see some of their rookies there of uh, some of the big names. Mark McGuire, Barry Bonds, Sammy Sosa, Rafael Palmero, Jose Canseco, Dave Justice, Juan Gonzalez, Roger Clemens. So that is the juice box. And on the juice box, there are these two drawers below, and these drawers are where I will in the future, once I acquire more, store the extra slabs that I have that will not make display. But let's go around in here, and I will give you guys a, a better view of what we're working with and go through each thing. So as you can see here, here's a 70 inch TV for watching all the games. I've got one of my channel cards on display back here. That's probably more for my own entertainment. Some cool little items I've got here. Or historic bats. This is actually a piggy bank where you put the coin in here. He pitches it. There's a hole here. And the coin goes down. It doesn't work so well anymore. It's cast iron. Just a really cool little item I have on display in here. That is my daughter. That's probably my most cherished baseball item period that I have in the house is our little superstar. And then going over here, I have my Anthony Rizzo jersey autographed on display. This was actually a Christmas gift this year from my wife and my mother and stepfather and brother, actually. They all went in together to get me that, and it was pretty awesome, turned out couple frame pictures of Wrigley Field here you all know I'm a major Cubs fan so that works out Ryan Sandberg framed investors journal up there these are some modern rookies Cubs mixed in and all my Rizzo slabs put on display in here sorry for the glare guys there's no way really around it in here um, just poor lighting all the way around in this room it's kind of a a darker room which I prefer actually and then over here I have a Pete Rose signed ball this is a facsimile signed autograph ball from the whole Cubs team from 1991 um, it was a ball I got when I was a child so I've just held, hung on to it here's some more Rizzo's these are the non slab rookie cards I have on display there's a Nolan Ryan 
Um, that is a all brass card, I believe. And then down in here, sorry if you guys picked up my knees popping there. I'm getting old. And these cabinets here just have some random rookies. Uh, Rizzo, Sandberg, Maddox. I uh, got my coach's cards with Don Zimmer, Joe Madden. I, eventually I will have my uh, Grandpa Rossi, which is his rookie card there. He will make a manager card in there. And then some more Cubs rookies down below on display in here. Oh, sorry about that, guys. And then up above, I have my autographed back collection. You guys have seen in my last video this Johnny Bench autographed JSA certified bat my wife got me for Christmas. The Yogi Bear autographed bat that I uh, got a few months back. My Louisville Slugger, which was made at the Louisville Slugger Museum for myself. And then I've got just some historical stuff here, some antique uh, catcher's mask and first baseman's glove. Another facsimile signed. Um, this is, I believe, the 1990 or 89 Cubs team facsimile signed I got when I was a child. There's a Reggie Jackson certified auto ball. And then above here is the Investor's Journal of Mickey Mantle frame there and then these are my Cubs retired numbers and superstars rookie card cabinet that you hear me talking about and I'm gonna pan out a little bit so we can see it in its entirety but as you can see I've got from 1952 to 2015 in this cabinet um, there are some gaps of cards missing in there again I apologize for the glare I'm trying to get you the least amount of glare as possible in that cabinet and then below are just some of my favorite Cubs cards autos um, Wilson Contreras Sean Dunstan Jr. Javi Baez the Starling Castro Topps Diamond Anniversary that has became my favorite subset um, I'm actually trying to collect that subset all the way around. There's two cards I'll probably never have out of that subset and that's the Jose Altuve and Mike Trout rookie but every other card in that set would be awesome to obtain so it's been one that I like to chase at card shows. And then going below in this cabinet here this one's a little less filled. Um, been moving some stuff around. I got, I can't see here, Warren Spawn, some of the 90's Mantle reprints my Donald Trump card, Ronald Reagan card, and then got the FF Air, Bill Ripken, Bo Jackson Donruss rookie, Randy Johnson the rookies rookie. Like, sorry for the glare, guys. I can't do anything about this. Bear with me. We got one more cabinet here. Above that, I have this. 1992 I believe or 95 I can't read it from here I don't have my glasses on Beckett with Mickey Mantle on the front framed above this cabinet and then this is some of my vintage cards and rookies I've just collected that I really uh, really like so going through here I'll just give you a quick pan through hopefully you can see some really cool rookie cards in this cabinet me being a ultimate rookie collector I very much like this cabinet that guy right there is one of my newest I just picked up that Don Mattingly 84 Don Russ then you got the upper deck Johnson Griffey some more Griffey's Jeter Chipper Thomas cool Bo Jackson there some more Griffey's CC Jeter and as you can see some openings for some new cards so when I started this video I told you guys I would show you my favorite pickups of 2019 so here's the thing guys I collected for a long time when I was younger and then I took several decades off and when I started collecting again this year pretty much everything that's in this video as of this point right here is everything I picked up in 2019 and 
I can't narrow it down to my favorites. So basically everything I pan through outside of my ju or juice box are 2019 pickups. And I narrow it down to this room. <laughs> Sorry, it's not better than that. Um, you guys might hear my wife and cousin in the background. We're getting ready to have a New Year's Eve party. So we're going to be jumping into that right after this. So if you hear their voices, that's why. But anyways, I just wanted to show you guys my baseball room once again and uh, let you guys see. So now you can put an image with what I've been talking about this whole time. So again, guys, thank you. It's been an amazing 2019. I appreciate all of you guys, my new subscribers and old. Um, I look forward to what we can do together in 2020. So I will see you officially next year, guys. Thank you. Be safe out there. Be responsible. And I'll talk to you soon.